Hi, my name is Jura Pans from Payatai Cooking School based in Southwest London. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Thai yellow curry with chicken, also known in Thai as gang curry gai. This curry is, has slightly yellow color because we're using turmeric, which you can either use fresh turmeric or dry turmeric or turmeric powder. You would need to soak the dry red chili in water, in lukewarm water, for 10 minutes. So make sure you de-seed the chili first, so it's not too spicy. So the first step is to make Thai yellow curry paste. So we're going to start by roast the cumin seeds, black peppercorns and coriander seed in a dry pan. Roast is for four or five minutes until you start to colour. Seeds are ready, so we're going to put it aside. In the meantime, we can roast the rest of the ingredients. So first thing we're going to add shallots, garlic, lemongrass, kalangao. And now I'm going to wrap the shrimp paste in a foil. We want to release the flavour of the shrimp paste, but we don't want it to burn, so you need to wrap in foil first. I'm going to leave that to roast in the pan for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we can dry the spices. I'm going to do this in a pestle mortar, but you can dry this in a spice grinder, or some people have coffee grinder, which actually work very well too. So we're going to dry these spices until it break up a little bit to become a little bit powdery. You can actually make the paste using mortar and pestles, but it takes a lot of time in terms of preparing that, so you have food processor or blender is a great way to make the paste as well. So we're going to actually add ingredients into our blender. So we're going to start by adding our chilies. So just remove the chili out from the water. Make sure you keep the water so we can actually use that water to add into the blender later. So next, we're going to add the ingredient that we roasted in the pan, so the gallon cow, the lemongrass, the garlic, the shallot. And then we're going to take the trim paste out from the foil. You can see it's actually released a bit of flavour here, so we're going to add it to the blender. Now we're going to add the grass spices and a good pinch of salt. So now we're going to add some liquid, which I'm going to use the water that we soak the chilli into the blender. So just add a little bit of water, probably four or five tablespoons full, just to really bring the water to the top of the ingredient in the blender. If you're using mortar and pestle in making the paste, then you do not need any water or liquid, but you need to grind it uh, from the hard ingredients, so spice it, and then gradually add each ingredient. Now that I made my paste, so we can start making the curry. Before we start, I have already parboiled my sweet potato, which will help to get the potato cook much quicker in the curry, and it actually will help the potato to soak up a lot of sauce easier as well. I'm going to start the curry by adding the coconut milk, just using the thick parts of the coconut milk, so do not shake the tin before you open it. Keep the liquid into the tin so we can actually add it back onto the pan later. The coconut cream that we scoop into the pan purse actually has a lot of lovely coconut uh, oil which is actually naturally from the actual coconut fat itself. So if you let it cook for a couple of minutes, bring it to boil on the medium heat, it will separate the oil and the milk so that you can actually using that coconut oil to cook up the paste, which we're going to do next. Now we're going to add our yellow curry paste. Give it a good stir well. Followed by yellow curry powder, turmeric powder. Again, stir to mix everything well. And we're going to heat that until it starts to bubbling again. Now we're going to add the chickens, 
So get the chicken in, give a good stir, and then we're going to cook until chicken's nearly cooked. Don't need to cook the chicken through at this point. We just really want to coat it all the chicken and just get the chicken to soak up the flavor of the curry sauce of the coconut milk. Now we're going to follow by the leftover, the rest of the coconut milk or the liquid that you left into the tins. Add that in. If it's really quite thick, some of the coconut tin are creamy or thicker than other. If it look really thick, not runny enough, then we need to add a bit of water as well. So I'm going to add a bit of water, stir it in well, and we're going to bring it to boil. Now we're going to add the sweet potato, which already uh, parboiled for three to four minutes. And then add the pineapple. And we're going to bring everything to boil again. Now the final ingredients that we're going to add are palm sugar, fish sauce, give us a good stir, turn the heat down and we're going to let it simmering for 10 minutes. In the meantime, while the curry simmering, we're going to make the cucumber sauce or in Thai, we call this sauce a jat. The cucumber sauce actually works very well with such a rich curry, like yellow curry, which will cut the richness of the flavor when you actually serve it with rice, which works very well, and it's just really nice soaking, crunchy cucumber. So we're gonna make that. So we're going to put all ingredients into the bowl. Start with white wine vinegar, water, salt and sugar and we're going to stir it well until sugar and salt dissolves and then we're going to add the cucumber and shallot mix everything well and that's ready to serve our curry now is ready and cooked so remove from the pans and we're going to serve this with steamed Thai jasmine rice together with the cucumber sauce. And here how to make Thai yellow curry with chickens. <laughs>